See you later. Bye bye. All right, here we go. It's the day before Sturgeon Spearing 2019. Let's go get ready. Here we go. I got my brother, Oakley, and uh, we got what five, six shanties to cut in, at least maybe seven. And it's gonna be a lot of work, and it's gonna be cold. I don't know what the temperatures are. What is, what is it, it was, with the wind chill? It was zero when I came over this morning. Zero degree actual temperature, and I'd say it's probably close to negative 30 with the wind chill. Pretty similar to what it was like last year, really. But opening day is tomorrow. My brother and I went out yesterday in search of clear water and found very little. Finding clear water this year would be the equivalent to finding Sasquatch. Seems like nobody's finding it, but as the season goes on, we'll probably get reports of people getting on sturgeon or finding clear water, and then we'll be able to move. It's kind of similar to hunting in that fashion. You gotta be mobile and be willing to move around and find where the fish are, but for opening weekend here, we got a spot picked out. We're gonna kind of cut in in two different areas that are pretty close together. Got a new shack this year we're excited about. Gonna be able to fit more people in it. Should be a good time. Just like last year, we'll have cameras over a bunch of holes and hopefully, if we're lucky, one, one person can stick a spear in one. I was lucky enough to last year, so hopefully the luck passes on to somebody else this year. Jim here, he hasn't got one in a couple of years. He's speared a couple though, haven't you? I speared on the first year I speared. That was a 14, when I was 14, I'm 26 now. That was the last time I got one. <laughs> but I have missed a quite a few time so. so that's about as good as your chances are just for a little bit of perspective if you guys haven't watched last year's video probably go back and watch this that one first and then come back and watch this one it'll give you a better idea of what's going on I know we've picked up a lot of subscribers since last year so a lot of you probably haven't seen last year's video but check it out it's pretty cool and uh, we'll kind of take you along this year and tell you what the strategy is. I didn't really dive into too much strategy last year. We just, was just trying to kind of explain what sturgeon spearing even was and why it's okay to spear an endangered fish. But this year we're going to dive into a little more of the tactics, I guess, that are involved in sturgeon spearing. A lot of people think it's just luck. You go out and set your shanty out. And I guess to a degree that might be true, but there's definitely things that you, you can do to increase your odds. So here we go. out here. What I'm trying to do is get away from those if possible. Take us to the sturgeon. Yeah, that's a boat. That's, that's 
seeing it's one, two, three knots here. That's pretty deep there. That first knot is six feet right there. Must be close eight, to ten or so. Eight, then, eight huh? nine, ten, yeah. We'll throw the there. Throw the siding down there once to see what it looks like. If, it, if you don't like it, we'll, we will move it at the end of the day. We'll have one. Yeah. Ideally, they just swim three feet under the ice, just like last year. Comes cooking in, clear as day. Eleven o'clock, call our year. It was opening day too. Yeah. Yet? Nope. Could be better, could be worse. And, uh, it'd be yeah. hard to not see one. See, it ain't bad though. I don't mind sitting in here. It's cold nice in here. Nice and toasty. What? It's cold in here. It's cold in here. Let's we'll stand outside for five minutes. This feels right. This feels right, gentlemen. I'm pretty excited. I actually have my secret decoy out here right now. Oh, don't Get put it. it down till tomorrow. Correct, but I have to I have to drill it out and do a couple things to it. Oh, it ain't bad to watch oh, just sitting there. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> I like when you can reach down in there and grab them. This is perfect. It's best when you can see them when you don't even have a decoy down. That's when you know they're here. This is going to come right across I here. was thinking the opposite, Jim. I was thinking moving under About one foot under the ice. A little piece on that side. And yeah, why don't you make one of these for yourself? Well, this might be mine. <laughs> Actually, it is mine. <laughs> it is. He paid for it. It's just, got, Scott. just got my name on it. No, oh, I'd like to get three of these. The, yeah. So how big a one? Nine inch ears. A nice one. Big. Yeah. Big, big lawyer. Big. <laughs> no. What if one can have two here now? We'd have to cut a new hole. We'd have to cut a new hole. Yeah, you'd have to. That's, That's not true. Jim missed yeah. three in one day. Yeah. Are there, that line. Are you camera throwing? Camera <laughs> no. chucking? The one, I've swam, seen them all. the one swam through three feet. <laughs> I missed the first two and I was There's up. only so much water column right here. Just gotta, gotta move on. I was sitting there pouting and all of a sudden I turned around and looked down the hole again and there was a little one swimming <laughs> three feet under the ice and by the time I turned around I threw behind <laughs> that one too. Right <laughs> you don't need any more ice here. Yeah. We ain't got we a decoy. Got it, well, it looks pretty good though, huh? Oh yeah, that would be nice. in here and all this. So Riley claims this is a secret decoy for this Just give year. me a second. Tell me how you found it. I actually found this on my lift at work. And at first I was grossed out, but then I knew I had a spot for this little bad mamma jamma. You looked down and you knew that was it. Look at this thing, dude. <laughs> a piece of fine china. <laughs> dude, look at that, look at that. That's it, that's like a Swedish pimple. There she is, boys. Hang it right under the ice, it's like a it's like a little shad just floating there, getting ready to gobble up. You're gonna get them right within range then, huh? Oh, uh, well, I got the one tiner this year, so she's gotta be close. <laughs> it's busy out here. People are getting cut in. I like being by these cracks here because it seems like you can get a bit of a buffer. People don't get right up close to them, so. I mean, if you can get by those, I just hate the idea of being in the middle of a bunch of people like that. It just feels like your chances are about nothing. I like where we're at. We can see well. People are seeing fish around us. My aunt actually saw a fish swim through pretty much as soon as we set her shanty up. She got in there and she's been watching. She saw one shortly after we got it set up. So. Hey, Morton. Did you bring the camera? Uh-huh. Good. <laughs> Don't step on any of my belongings. <laughs> you saw one, huh? Two? Very I well just right. seen the second one here about 10 minutes ago. Could you see them pretty clear? Or did you just see him go no, over the pipe? No, I just seen it go over the pipe, Jake. I never would have saw if it was if it didn't go over the pipes. Mm -hmm. Were they big? The last one, or the first one, I didn't see the tail. I only seen the girth go over. Oh, uh -huh. the girth. I seen the girth about like that. This time, I seen the whole fish. This one was at, at least five feet. The last one. Ooh. That's yeah, big enough for me. Sixty inch range. It's a big enough for me too. Do you remember the last time you got one? <laughs> no, I don't, Jake. Push that one up for you. That's the last one of the day. Oh, oh Scott! What do you think Zimmy will think of that? That's naughty. All right, well, it's 227, and Ted just texted me, said that he got here. He's waiting on the edge of the lake out there, and he timed it out perfect now that all the work's done, I guess, but 
everything's cut in. I think what six, seven shanties. Yep. And I think we're all feeling pretty good. We got a lot of open space both on the inland side and on the outland side of us. Where I don't like feeling like we're trapped in by a bunch of shanties, and it doesn't feel like we are this year. Everybody can see diff decently well. My aunt saw a couple fish. Guys next to us got reports of seeing a couple fish in the last couple days. So I think we're sitting pretty good, but now we're gonna go back to shore, get in a couple uh, sturgeon pools. But basically this year there's no shad virtually on the lake. A lot of, lot of red worms. And there's a lot of red worms. So you can't see as much when you get into the deeper water where the soft bottom is, where we're at here. So we're kind of right on the edge of that. And it seems like we're in good shape. So we're gonna go up to shore here, meet up with Ted. Get naughty. Can we park here? Is it cold enough up here? Oh, nice yeah. and warm in here. Take it out. What happened to your face? <laughs> Shaved it off. <laughs> Shaved your face off? Yeah, part of it. <laughs> Went back to 12 years old. <laughs> Get that damn thing off me. Well, so I let her go in him. <laughs> that was the first one I ever got. So, it was only 35 pounds, 54 inches. So, but it was fun. My dad speared one. Uh, just before he died, he was 78 years old, and we went north. It's the first time he ever speared a sturgeon in his life. This Woo! big one comes right underneath the hole like that, right underneath his feet. He grabbed the spear like that, and so he threw the spear and he got it. <laughs> and uh, he let the rope go out to the end, and I says, what do you do, pull it in, pull it in. He says, I'm playing him out, I'm playing him out, he says. And we got it in, it was 78 pounds, it was a dandy. Can you get all that? <laughs> what if I sit back? This is Ted's hat for the afternoon after we uh, get done and go we'll listen to music and celebrate, hopefully. But we are almost to the lake. It's opening morning. Uh, it opens at 7 o'clock. It's probably 6.20, 6.30 right now. Everybody's heading to meet up right on the edge of the lake. Then we'll all go out as a group out to our shanties and hopefully spear a fish. I brought Ted and he brought his dad. And the reason I did that is because pretty much wherever Ted goes, stuff dies. So hopefully Ted is lucky today. And either me or someone else in the group can spear a sturgeon. But either way, it's going to be a good time. I think everybody in the family is feeling about as optimistic as we could, given the circumstances and what your chances actually are of spearing a sturgeon. But hopefully we can get out there today and show Ted and his dad what it's all about. Still going, or does it smell like propane? I can smell it. That heater went out. Huh? That heater went out. Cold in there? Cold froze? Smells like propane. Ooh, that's funny. Mostly Riley Brock here. Hey, sweet chips. Have you been a farmer or something? Nice tight pants. <laughs> oh, what's that? Yes. I brought a bunch of them. What about a gap plug? No gap plug? Those are tight plugs. We don't have one. Oh, we don't need one. We don't need one. We got two spears, Scott. That could go on that side. People sit on it. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Right. I'm going to walk across just to make sure no strings are going to trip me. Okay, here we go. All right. You got your decoy rigged up? I've got both of them. I drilled this little like sinker. Don't be showing this on camera, Ted. <laughs> this is just a beacon for them to look All at. And you're still going to close them out. So. Ooh. Carly, who are you sitting with? My dad. How's it going over there? Oh, he just got set up. That's probably about good right there, huh? If somebody needs that. No. Bury that. Deeper? Go down. You think? Go down. We got to, yeah, we got to hit the, 
Yeah, that's good there. That's good there. No, so everybody be watching the hole because there's seriously one that's gonna come now. Here. <laughs> Whatever you want to put this up. Hey. I'm gonna let my hot dog saw out for later. Give yourself something to feast on. Yeah, we'll get it. I'll just curry. I'll curry you some food. Bring you some food here. I guess I'll come back. Sounds good. Zimmy, just wait here. You can come in quick. Hurry up. Swam right over the corner of that pipe. Well, I was walking up. Yeah, just like probably like two minutes ago. And I must have just. Oh, it's getting dirty. I must have, I mean, that's probably for me bouncing the spear off the bottom. Oh. But I must have just seen the tail. Yeah. And then it swam off that corner of that pipe. But I mean, it was. Was it big? It was, I mean, not, I mean, I don't think it was like a huge sturgeon or anything. But it was a sturgeon, you think? It, it started to get really dirty right before that, too. Yeah. What, what, so you hadn't pulled it up from the bottom when I was out the door? Well, I, I had pulled it up, but I was just making, I just wanted to make sure it yeah. didn't like circle around or something and yeah. stirring all that mud up. But I mean, I think I scared them pretty good. Wow. Well, I better bless that. Good morning, because I figured. All right, give me those thunder lines or whatever they are. Put a little butter in there. Hey, Zip. Yeah. Why'd the blind guy fall in the well? Yeah. Just couldn't see that well. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> this guy's full of him, isn't he? <laughs> I still haven't heard a sturgeon joke. <laughs> I don't have a sturgeon joke. I'm at sturgeon joke. camp and I haven't heard one single sturgeon <laughs> joke. We're not really true sturgeons. <laughs> Those are my. Yeah, yeah. I don't know if you notice or this, not. Don't be saying that. This yeah, we're running. on camera now. We got rich quick. We got one. <laughs> Got two right years quick. two years in a row we spanked one in oh baby <laughs> get that cooking boy get that red meat all on there now you turn the tunes off mm -hmm. you do an interview here quick what time is it 10 something we're gonna fry up these elk tender lines thanks to eric and uh we do have a couple of different sturgeon clips for you that our buddy jake sent in to us so thanks jake we're gonna sit here and stare at this hole. So hope you guys enjoy these videos from Jake as much as we're gonna enjoy this elk tender one.
All right, well that was awesome. Thanks again, Jake, for letting us use your footage. But Jake's no stranger to spearing sturgeon. I think he told me at Deer Fest that since 2010, he speared eight fish. So that's eight out of the last nine years that he's got fish, which is basically unheard of in sturgeon spearing. But we didn't have much luck in our group. My brother missed that fish on opening day. And other than that, it was pretty slow. But now I'm gonna show you some footage from a kid I went to high school with. His name's Jake Beatty. And Jake drew an upriver tag this year. And those upriver tags take about seven years to draw nowadays. But once once you draw that tag, your chances of seeing fish go up a ton. I think 65% of upriver tags get filled, which is compared to about 5% on Winnebago. And Jake is living proof of that. I think he saw 13 fish on opening day, just nothing big enough. He saw six on Sunday, and then he sat the rest of the week. Hardly saw any fish, I guess. And by the time the next weekend rolled around, the quota was almost filled for that lake, and the season was almost over. But Jake was still out there, and you'll have to see what happens next. It's up to you, it's going to be less than 50 inches. It's small, Jake. There's one. Not big enough. It's border, it's not big enough. You can do better. <laughs> it's a nice one. <laughs> Probably 25 pounds. <laughs> you might be mad at me later. Son of a bitch, huh? Remain positive. <laughs> okay, okay. Nothing but positivity. We're only one hour over half by. That's how you look at the positive side. If you want to look at the negative side, that means we have two hours left. <laughs> Now he's off. Now give it. There you go. Get, get the handle out of the way. There you go. I got the handle. There you go, buddy. Okay. Okay, out of the way. Fire him out. Just let him wear himself out. I can't be that far. Don't pull him through. It's all right. I mean, you don't have to. He's a nice fish. Is that spear now? I know. I can get that out of there if you need it. It's fine. Nice job. 
Feels heavy? Uh huh. Yeah. Should. Be nice if we could see him. It's a little cloudy. Yeah. It should take some time. He's gonna be a nice one. Come on, come on, come out of the depths, you big guy. <laughs> what kind of a fish can give you a facelift? Tell me, Zip. A plastic sturgeon. <laughs> <laughs> Zip's been, Zip been looking up sturgeon jokes all day and that's the best he came up with. He's been waiting for that moment all day.